It was as if class was in session, but this time it was the 120th class reunion. People came from as far as Arkansas to remember what it was like to go to school in a one-room schoolhouse. Victory Number no. 8 school was built in 1891 and closed in 1958. Back when it was open, students from kindergarten through eighth grade attended simultaneously. And just like the good old days, the school's original wooden desk, chalkboard, and slates are still in place. We were lucky to have a set of encyclopedias. That was about the most, I think at first we didn't even have that. But. There are six teachers still living that taught at Victory No. 8. Two came back for this year's reunion. They had nothing but good things to say about their former students. The most that I remember about these children, they were also well behaved. It was the best school I ever taught in. Yeah, the, the kids were so um, obedient and friendly and wonderful, and, and then the parents were too. One of the biggest differences you'll find between modern schools and one-room schoolhouses is the fact that when children had to use the restroom, back in those days, they had to go out to the outhouse. There was a boy's outhouse and a girl's outhouse, and two people could go at one time if that was a necessity. And uh, it was not, uh, let's say it was not a good odor. <laughs> Over the years, the former students have formed a reunion committee. The committee maintains the school, and they say as long as they keep having reunions every year, the school will never be torn down. In Lockridge, Stephanie Claytor, KTVO News.